Hi everyone, uh, I'm Srivatsa Mahesh and I'm the CTO at Buffalo Extraction Systems. Uh, I'm going to walk you through our 5 kilo per batch level 1 cryoethanol extraction systems. Uh, this system is used to actually extract uh, crude oil or uh, de-waxed, decolorized crude oil from a biomass using ethanol as a solvent. And the ethanol is typically used at a cryogenic temperature which is typically at minus 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, the system starts with overall your ethanol storage tank and that is where your entire day tank uh, is uh, basically considered. That means you have your entire day's storage of ethanol in this tank. This tank is used to feed the entire system as well as the input from after the recirculation of ethanol comes back into this tank. The first step after the storage is actually the pre-chilling skid where the ethanol is chilled down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, this, is used, this is done by actually recirculating this ethanol through a heat exchanger which is connected to a condensing unit. Uh, by using this heat exchanger uh, system, we actually reduce the temperature of ethanol down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. There are two pre-chiller skids where one pre-chiller skid uh, tank is used for as a process solvent and the second uh, chilling tank is used as a utility solvent. That means one tank is used to actually be in contact with the biomass and extract the oils from it. And the other tank is used for all the jacketing of the centrifuge so that during the process of extraction, there is no increase in temperature and the, the process temperature is maintained in a very stable manner. After your uh, the ethanol is actually pre-chilled, it then is going into the centrifuge. The centrifuge is your basically the heart of the system where you are actually loading your biomass in. So I'll quickly just open the centrifuge and show you where the biomass is loaded. Typically, you'll have your biomass loaded in a bag like this. And this bag basically consists of your uh, cannabis biomass or hemp biomass uh, at a grind size of about 4 to 5 millimeter particle size distribution. Uh, the reason is that you don't want it to be too fine so as to pass through the mesh and actually continue on into the filtration skid. But you want it to be small enough to actually provide enough of an exposure area for the ethanol to seep into the biomass. The biomass is loaded into this basket and the centrifuge is closed. And if you see here, you have a spray ball which actually injects the ethanol, which is at a cryogenic temperature, into the vessel. There are uh, limit switches and safety switches and uh, uh, level sensors that ensure that there is neither an overfilling of ethanol nor is this, uh, is this centrifuge used with, when actually it's, the lid is not closed properly. So you ensure a very safe operation throughout the process. Once this actually centrifuge is closed, you have a completely automatic operation in actually uh, exposing the ethanol into the biomass and continuing the extraction. The centrifuge basically acts as a typical washing machine in that you have multiple uh, cycles for washing where you can rotate the centrifuge in a counterclockwise direction or a clockwise direction. You can set a certain uh, stabilization time or res residence time between the cycles. And then you can set a certain spinning time so as to remove all the ethanol from the biomass at a high rotational speed. The maximum rotational speed uh, the system goes up to is about 2000 RPM. That ensures a very high removal rate of ethanol from the biomass. Uh, which is ensures you're not losing a lot of ethanol air during every batch. The resultant ethanol plus the oil that comes out of the centrifuge passes through a four-stage filtration skid where you have a progressive reduction in the, in the basically purification and the removal of contaminants or the unwanted particles from the oil. You have basically one cartridge filter two D lenticular filters and one sintered rod carbon filter. And by using this four stage filtration, you can ensure that the resultant ethanol plus oil that comes out of this filtration skid has a very clear honey-like uh, color 
and the next step after that then you just need to remove the ethanol from it we've actually provided a buffer tank between the filtration skid and the and the solvent recovery system and the reason we do that is in cases where you have a very uh, low yield from the biomass your ethanol is actually not saturated with the oil so the ethanol plus oil that is filtered can actually be recirculated back into the uh, the storage chilling tank and be reused for extraction and this can be done multiple times so that your overall your overall uh, process ensures that you are not putting too much energy into the system when your yield is not high so if you do consider you process this about 4 to 5 times you can effectively have maybe a 10% concentration of the oil in the ethanol rather than just having maybe a 1% or 2% concentration of oil after the buffer tank you have overall the solvent recovery system and the concept that it works on is basically it's a uh, falling film evaporator with a calendria the ethanol plus oil is actually transferred into the calendria from the top and this calendria is actually heated in combination with the increased temperature which actually actually helps in evaporation of the ethanol you also apply a vacuum so as to reduce the boiling point of the ethanol once you actually pass your ethanol through the ethanol and oil through the uh, calendria you will have the ethanol that evaporates and transfers into the vapor drum while the oil settles down at the bottom because it's liquid the vapor drum or the ethanol that is in a vapor form in this drum connects back to this calendria at the back and from there you have actually a chilling uh, process where it actually condenses the ethanol and collects all the ethanol back in this tank the collected ethanol is then again transferred back to the main initial storage tank which we showed you earlier in the video and can then be reused again for the new biomass cycle the the oil that is collected here still has ethanol so it can be recirculated and the heating cycle can be done again and again till you actually increase the percentage of oil and drastically reduce the percentage of ethanol in this combined liquid typically what we uh, suggest is to remove the ethanol down to about 2% of ethanol concentration so your uh, uh, viscosity is not high enough to actually help in to actually remove the ethanol and oil mixture from the uh, system if you remove 100% of the ethanol then your oil could be so viscous that it could actually not come out of the system and you'll have a lot of handling losses this resultant oil plus ethanol can then be put into some sort of a rotovap or some sort of a decarb unit to actually polish off the ethanol and to actually then decarboxylate the oil to get all the active forms of your cannabis uh, oil now what we have at the back here is actually a complete uh, utility skid which is basically which is basically used to actually ensure that the uh process equipment operates at its desired temperatures pressures uh, uh what we need the typical utilities that are required are condensing units which will help in chilling the ethanol chilling the jackets uh condensing the ethanol in the recovery unit it will include a overall a vacuum system which includes a vacuum pump and a vacuum uh, tank that ensures you can actually pull down the uh, the boiling point of ethanol and it includes also a heating skid because you need to heat up the ethanol so as to evaporate it and separate the oils from the ethanol the typical construction what you see here is a clear differentiation in terms of what is the clean area and what is a technical area again as per gmp requirements we provide all documentation as per either 21 cfr part 11 and 211 or as per eu gmp requirements of Uh, annex 11 or annex 15 in addition the system is completely ce certified and atex certified which is why all the components in the uh, in the areas where ethanol is in presence are all flame proof components and all the uh, connections where you have utilities or non flame proof parts are kept behind into the utility area
Typically, what you do is between the clean area and utility area, you'll have a clean partition that will ensure the operator who is handling the biomass, that is handling the oil, is actually not uh, in contamination or is not in presence of actually any of the utilities or be it the pump or the any other uh, recirculation thermic fluids. All in all, this system actually is used when you want to actually process the, uh, the biomass at a very high capacity. This system is a level one system which processes five kilos per batch and can have a, a production capacity of anywhere between 50 to 80 kilos per shift. So it's relatively a large capacity for being a small size and it can help you to have a very robust operation. Lastly, the system is again controlled completely through an HMI and is completely have, has a connectivity with the SCADA system. So all the recipes can be set in, all your wash cycles and spinning cycles can be set in and your recipe data or your data logging from the system can be ensured. Uh, all in all, it will help you to have a much more robust operation with a lot of tracking and traceability throughout the process. For more information, please do visit uh, www.buffaloextracts.com.